Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. So, vanilla yogurt, and I got uh, French toast with the cinnamon and the syrup and butter. So, we're on a water band or we got to watch how much water being used so the car wash was open yesterday but it's going to be closed today Because one of the water factories or whatever was something was down and I don't know. Anyway, bay cleaner will come in and do the vacuums, I guess. But it's all closed down. Probably for the remainder of the week been so busy people doing car washes and that car washes is the top of the list of things that have to so anyway so that's the news for today now All the buses here used to run on a schedule. And bus number four used to drive out and around this area. Anyhow, we still got two bus. One and ten because you can get into Edmonton and they're on schedule. But on demand, you can order your bus. You can do it two weeks ahead of time. So, when I first moved here, you know, the bus was coming going south. And they put me at that bus The bus stop across the street when I ordered that stop because they're coming that way. And they wanted me to stand across the street just past the intersection because it, it when it, when it says that your bus is on its way, it tells you where it's going to pick you up, right? Across the intersection, it said, same side as the hospital, at the crosswalk. I'm like, what in heck? This first time when I moved into the building. When there's a bus stop right there and one at the corner. On this side. So I didn't know where they meant. I crossed the street and almost got hit. And I told the girls that. So there's special instructions. I'd say I'm at bus stop 179. Because every time when I schedule, they're always put me over across the way where there's no bus stop. I would stand there. I didn't know where to stand. Car came and almost hit me. 
So for a year now, the girls, there's three of them, they pick me up. They know where I'm at. So they got this new guy. Well, he's not new. He always done about 10. I know him. Jerry. He's going to be driving on demand. Well, yesterday I put my name. I knew he was driving. There's special instruction in the name. I put my name and I put at bus stop 179. Well, this shit ass supervisor that's not getting them to read the instructions or nothing, they come and stop there and I'm over. And it's dangerous. That's 50th Street. It's busy all the time. To pick me up doesn't take them out of their way to pick me up there and go around and come back. It's safer for the bus and it's safer for me. He goes, you're going to have to talk to them. I said, well, I've been talking to them. I said, but the girls will pick me up there, regardless where they want me to stand. I said, all my life, I never ever jaywalked and I never ever stand at a crosswalk having a bus pick me up there and not a bus stop. So I called and of course nobody did yesterday, but as soon as I'm done this video, I'm calling again. Even the people that worked over there, Tim Hortons and that, that stand right there. The bus stop. And they'll go, that stupid system they're on, will have them get off on 50th Street when they don't have to. There's a bus stop right there. There's a bus stop right there. And the girls can do it for a year. And it didn't screw up their schedule. I don't like standing at a bus stop that's not a... Uh, uh, to be picked up at a stop and it's not a bus stop. As soon as you pass the lights... They want you to stand right there at the intersection. And that's a busy, a busy road. That's a busy road. It doesn't matter if they stop, put their blinkers on. It's not a bus stop. Until they make that a bus stop. I'm going to say, I'm going to go to the police station and see. Because it's illegal, you can get a fine for jaywalking. I'm going to see if it's illegal to stand on the side of the road to get picked up on a bus, by a bus. I'm going to see. They'll have to put a bus stop there. Until there's a bus stop there. I'll be telling her that today too when I contact her. I'll say, well, I'm just going to have to go to the police station and see. Because I know it's illegal to, cross, uh, to jaywalk. To be picked up on a busy street. Why are they allowed to put a bus stop there? What? Why? Why isn't there a bus stop there? I'll say why isn't there a bus stop there? Because it's not a safe place to put one. The city probably didn't approve it. So they're having people stand there anyway. I say, why isn't there a bus stop set up there? 
And why is there one at 179? Nobody's being picked up there or dropped off. Why have that bus stop? Why not move it across the street? Where you guys want people to stand and wait. And be picked up. See so what's up with that? Why even have a 179? When you don't drop anyone off there. That's what I'll be saying. Give them a quick call. So I got one of them beef um, things there that you just got a microwave. And I, I got um, Brussels sprouts and those small potatoes, so I'm going to cook them up. That'll be my supper, but as soon as I have my cigarette, I'll be calling them up again. Why have the special instructions, for one thing, if they're not going to read it? And why have that bus stop 179 if nobody is being picked up or dropped off that the system wants them to stand on the side of the road at a crosswalk, at a busy intersection? Stand on a crosswalk. I'll say I have to go to the police and see if that's illegal or not. Because you can't jaywalk. I'm pretty sure you can't be standing on the side of the road at an intersection. Because it's just up from the intersection. So to me, you're still at the intersection. Is 179 is just to show face. Just to say, yeah, we got to stop. When nobody is being picked up or dropped off there. Not once in the whole year that I've been here, that when I schedule my times to be picked up, not once did the system put, say pick uh, pick up at one seven nine. Not one time, and I see people getting off. To, to work at Edo Japan and whatever and Tim Hortons whatever and they're letting them off on 50th Street when there's a bus stop 179 I, I don't even think that bus stop is in the system at all and when I do call them I'm going to be on speakerphone and I'm going to be sitting right out there I'll say well you know what this back noise it's 50th Street, where they want me to stand. And it's like that all day long, traffic going back and forth, back and forth, all day long, and they want me to stand. It'd be different if it was bus stop there. If they had a sign, then people will know. People are getting off, and people are getting on. It is not safe. They're going to have to put a bus stop there. Or pick me up at 179. Put it in the system. And this supervisor. And I said. It, you, you don't. That does not take you out of the way. You pick me up there. You go around and you come back on 50. The girls does it all the time. It doesn't. It doesn't. And I got to laugh. If they're coming from the north down south they still got me want want me to stand there so they got to turn around anyway to go get me talk about inconvenience no it's not inconvenience at all i'm gonna have a cigarette and call back i'm calling and he's not even the supervisor's not even getting him why have the special instructions what is it there for then what are they there for if they're not going to read it? I put my name. Pick up bus stop, or bus at bus stop 179. 
Ding Dong didn't even know because they wanted me to be dropped off at 211. He didn't even know. I said Starbucks. And I said, but I did put 212 Panda because that's, I, I work across the street. But he was going straight, see, so that would, that's fine, that's fine. But to be picked up, he didn't even know where 211 was, bus stop, the supervisor guy. I said, yeah, Starbucks. And then Jerry knew because he drives number 10, so he knew exactly. He just didn't, he don't know the bus numbers, the bus stop numbers. Which he should. He's been driving that route forever. He should have known where that bus stop was because it was on his route. He should have known it. The girls know all the bus stops. As soon as I said Starbucks, he knew. Anyhow, so I'm going to have my cigarette and then I'll be calling them up and then i got to cook my Brussels sprouts and it's a short video but I'm all upset now. Anyways, you guys all have a good day and it's cigarette time.